everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell. Fly well with Quicksell. All right, well, today we are going to go straight into a mission because I have an idea of what I want to try out. And I said I was going to be trying this for a while now. I think this is the one here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, the Marians want us to go after, I think it's the local government. Yeah, it's the local government, I think. Um... One of their pilots was killed when a mech fell over. The local government grabbed the mech and is trying to get it on its feet and get it out of the AOE uh, area of operations. So we're going to head down there, but we're going to do that with... We're going to go 312. Hopefully we can get some salvage out of this. But we're going to go down with all flyers today. I said we were going to try a mission one at some point with all flyers. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's pull all these guys out. Flyers only. Ooh, except for you, we're going to need you. Uh, all right, let's bring in our best pilots. So I was able to get Nasty and Ironsides up with um, Phantom. So because they're they're always flying in flyers anyway, so Phantom's good for that. So I was able to do that. So we'll put those guys up front. We want to bring Junker. We want to bring Earthquake. And then I've only got a couple left down here. Uh, Prime Time was one of our vehicle pilots, so we'll bring him. And then. Whiplash was supposed to be like the um, the replacement pilot that I haven't got a, a lance for yet, so we'll bring her. Kodiak could go, but he's not. He's really made for mech, so we'll just go with these guys. Uh, and then we want to take. So who's going to get what here? So we normally running with the freets on our main two guys, and I think that's the second one. What else do we got here? Not the mag shot. That's one of the daisy cutters. I'm going to see how those do. The MRM-10s. Uh, actually, let's switch these two around. Hmm. No, we'll go this route. Just because this guy's got more evasion. Uh, what else do we have here? So this is a pair of MRM-10s. Light AC-10. So we've got gunnery 10 here. So let's put the light AC-10 there. Because I, I think the light AC-10's got 20 rounds in it. It's got 10 regular and 10 inferno, I believe. Now, Earthquake, let's give you the snub and the daisy cutters, I think. Well, how good is the stealth? Now, let's give you all the lasers. All of the lasers. You just got the evasion and speed. Yeah, this is a tough choice, I think. So we're going to go with the snub down here. you got seven gunnery. You've only got five. So we'll give you the yellow jacket with the plasma cannon. You can stay at a distance and just take pot shots. Yeah, I think that's how we do it. Wow, this lance is actually rated at three and a half skulls. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it all comes down to dollars and stuff too, right? But that's fine. Let's go. Let's do this. Command interface initiated. Well, here we go. Air cab to the rescue. Uh, what are we looking at there? Um, is that a Highlander? Could very well be a Highlander. Could be a Charger or something like that, too. I think they kind of look very similar. In a way, I know the Highlander's got more of like a square head, so we got to get there. It looks like it's a, yeah, it's an active battle zone. Well, that's an interesting map, uh, Duplication. Um, yeah, it's they got rocks here, but no rocks here. It's just mirrored, but they've got... Interesting how they've done that. All right. Um, let's start... Where are they trying to get to? Or does it matter? Looks like they may only have one lance. All right, well, let's get some speed up. So let's just start back here. We're going to be crossing distances relatively quickly, so I'm not really worried about how far back we start. we got to build up some speed to get some momentum going so that we can get a lot of evasion. Nice. Alright, what are we dealing with? we got that dude, and that's all we can see, huh? Alright, well, let's get nasty on this some bitch. Um, doesn't matter where we fly. I was going to say, we should fly in a tight, tight formation to maximize our AMS, but that probably is not a good idea, because we'll burn through all of our AMS really quickly. So if we can spread out a little bit, that and, you know, AOE weapons not being a good thing. 
Let's take the uh, AC-10 this way. Got it. We'll take the lasers out this way. Looks like you can get seen. Mag shot snub. Uh, we got AMS flares and stuff as well. Oh, you're not that, you're not as fast, eh? Oh, you know what it is? It's a pilot. The better you're piloting, the faster you are in vehicles. So this guy's not as good a pilot. Uh, let's just spread your AMS about out amongst everybody else, and you. I want you to be like. Not anywhere near the front. Just stay back here for now. You don't got that much armor, and it's really. The pilot's not that best, not that good. Tracking a, a leopard on radar and it's moving really fast, cool. Coming into there, oh we got guys right here. Nice, this should be fun. Looks like an urban mech and a griffin maybe? Oh they got two lances and maybe one, mo and one more, really? So urban, panther, griffin. Just need the AMS till we get close. All right. Um, so we got one lance there. That's our evac zone, eh? What they think we're not going to kill everybody? Is that what they think? Ready to rock. Apparently that's what they're thinking. I think we just go right up their nose. I don't think they're going to really be able to. Like hitting us is going to be tough for them. It's the lucky shots that are probably going to be the, the worst thing for us. Quad missiles are in range, but not going to bother at the moment. Oh, it's a gutted Amarung. Okay. Long fire, magnet, a PPC. Yeah, we can kill that. Let's just hang on. Receiving you. Okay, let's get up here. So it must be this lance here, unless the God of Damrung is the support. I don't think it is. It's got to be this lance here. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll see. 50, 12, 52. I'm going to shoot the wall. Oh, he's got missiles. It's SRM boat probably quick sell too um, I'm gonna shoot this guy because we can probably strip armor and kill him pretty quickly nice CT hit probably probably we're gonna get support in one spot which is nice because I can just drop a, a uh, plasma around that guy Confirmed. I'd love to see what their percentage chance to hit on me is Okay, let's get up to here. We got SRM, so we got to get in closer. Because knowing how hard it was for me to hit flyers, let's just see uh, how bad it is for them. Thanks for being there. So, so that's the main guy. Support Lance 1 is, is it these guys? It's not these guys. I don't know. Who cares? Standing by. We gotta kill them all anyway. We'll kill them all, let the Marians sort them out. No shooting. No, we got shooting to do. We always got shooting. Laser blast. These guys are probably saying the same thing I say. Fuck, they got a lot of flyers. Oh, yeah, the other thing is I gotta watch out for the, uh, the jet boost. Flares. Quad missile, okay. Let's just shoot this guy since it's really all we can see. Hopefully we land one. Nope. Well, it is what it is. At least the enemies are all coming in one spot. 
that plasma can is gonna wreak havoc. Somebody's got an ultra. Uh there's somebody stealth there. Yeah. That's what it is. That's why I can't see him. There is somebody stealth up there. Yeah, now we got the we got their number pegged. We got their number pegged now. Panther, it's somebody back here. Vulture, Mark II. Ooh, that's interesting. But Oh, we're out of range. So we got standard and incendiary. Approved and incendiary. I'm not going to waste the arrow on anybody. Just in case they get flyers here, hopefully we can take it out in one shot. I hear ya. All right, buddy. Uh, let's just get up this way. Got it. Just get up to here for now. You can crest in a minute. This thing's a little slower than the rest of us. Here they are. Cretan markings. They come a hell of a long way to f go after this mech. Unless that Vulture Mark II is the actual heavy. No, I don't think it is. I think it's the God of Dameron. Oh, nice. Blackjack. Wow, he's bleeding out already. Enforcer. Panther. Is that what this is? Yeah, that's their Panther, right? Quick sell. Oh. Regular Panther. Watchman. So it was an Enforcer. What's this guy? Valkyrie? Javelin. Well, okay. They're about to get shredded. So there's two lances. Unless these are lances of like two guys each. I don't know. Let's just shred everybody. Shred everybody, let the Marians sort them out. So that maybe there's another lance that I haven't seen yet, but it doesn't seem like it. Uh, yep. You know how when you when there's like another lance you get those long pauses. Um, how do I want to play this? We could go this route. Because they're close together now. Maybe we just maximize our Inferno Mines at this point. So let's do that. We'll come into here. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Kick it, buddy. Kick it. And let's drop the mines. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe there? More on the... No, more on the... Well, I don't know. We're going to get more benefit, I think, from targeting the lighter units. So let's do that. Target the javelin. Firing. Oh, that's a widespread. We'll take it. Whatever. My short range missile oh, head hit. Nice. Well, that's, uh... Sure. That's not really a bomb. It's more of a mine missile. Yes. Fry, you friggers. Hopefully this, uh... The, uh... Plasma Cannon can keep that God of Damarong silent. We'll see, though. What okay, I gotta start watching for boosters. You don't have one, so you're good. We want to try and kill here. We can get some back strikes in. Let's just do it. If we're gonna get... Yeah, we might as well. Not opposed to a little backstabbing. Uh, what do we got here? The Watchmen. 
Well, it's pretty darn good in the Watchmen. A little better than everybody else. Flamer mag shots. So you can't use flamers on me anyway. RE large laser. Eh, whatever. Back armor is not bad. What is it? Yeah, it's pretty good for 40 tons. All right, let's just hopefully kill him. Target lock on enemy six. Maybe not. Or maybe. There you go. Mech destroyed. I like me now. Yeah, so I made a few changes to the mechs between episodes. Not a lot of changes, just minor minor tweaks here and there. The trebuchet needed. We needed to rebuild the one side. We lost the um, the uh, the quick cell laser medium um, pulse knockoff, so I had to replace that. So a few things I made. Not it wasn't like I said. It wasn't anything major. Like no major tweaks that I made. But um, fuck it. Let's light these guys up. I got you. Let's light them up, buddy. I wonder if we should just drop. Can we hit this guy with mines? We can't. Can't hit that guy either. Uh, let's go for a kill here. Oh, Blackjack. Let's drop a couple of pairs of mines and we'll hit the Blackjack. Ooh, pair of Ultra 10s. You're facing the wrong way, pal. Pair of Ultra 10s. Well, he's not doing so good. My SRMs are out. That's all right. You got lots more. All right, Nidhogg. can't move as far so we're just going to move up here and I'm not going to target through our guys. I have a feeling that friendly fire is will be a bane for us just simply because like that's the best chance to hit us is us. So let's just shoot this guy. I don't know how I want to handle this guy yet. Let's just shoot this guy. Maybe we can get his leg. I'm taking the shot. Oh, the AC hit. Nice. Ah, we only got one leg hit. Fine. Scored a critical hit. Unsteady, though. Maybe we can get the plasma can on him. Yeah, he's stealth. Wow. Nobody kills him but us. Standing by. <laughs> That's why we're shooting down your missiles. Only we get the kill. All right. Let's move. We're going to get on that uh, urban mech again. Maybe we can claim that leg. We'll see. Malak. Um Not close enough for the daisy cutters. Oh, we are close enough for a kill on this guy though. We must have hit him in the CT with the AC. Must have hit him in the CT with the AC. Down low in the QP with the PT. All right, let's fire at this guy. Did we hit the God of Damarong? I think we hit him with something. But at least we got the leg. Alright. Waiting on you, Commander. Can you get a shot off on him? That's the question. You can't, he's too far. Moving fast. He's too far. Yeah, these support lances, they must be half lances. 37. 43. Fuck this blackjack. I hate blackjacks. I know we could hit our own guy, but... Fuck this blackjack. Yep, see? Reporting major armor loss. It's the biggest time. threat against us is us. That's just... Sure. I mean, technically, everybody's moving at the same time, so I get it. Your AMS can't fire, but somebody else's can. That guy better back up. We're coming for you.
Well, you kill the urban mech, but you also hit this guy, the javelin. Hit his own guy. Yeah, I think they need to half. If it, if it was up to me, I would work on it so that there was like half the number of head hits, but make them slightly more severe, and then half the amount of friendly fire because I'm finding it's actually quite a bit. But that, yeah, yeah, so they're 50% lances. What are your orders, Skipper? It would have been better for them if they did, if they had the full lances, but... That don't matter at this right, point. Fuck target. this guy. Looks like he's pretty warm already. I'm just gonna drop- I'm gonna drop mines on him. I'm gonna save these for the vulture. We'll just hit him with this. My short range missiles are out. Prototype double heat sink warning. You've been warned. I don't know what you're doing, but you're heating this thing up. You gotta stop. Standing by. And I think if they were all shooting at me, they'd have a better chance, but whatever. It is what it is. Oh, man, I gotta keep my motion going here, or we're gonna run out of evasion. Uh, wait a minute. We got the booster? We don't. We have the warfare suite. All right, let's see if we can kill this javelin. At this point, I'm not really too worried about these guys. I'm just taking guns off the field, so we'll just uh, hopefully do some good damage to this guy. Nope. Doesn't matter how many lasers you have, if you can't hit with them, the hell's the point. All right, who's going? How are you feeling? Confirm. All right, buddy. Um, let's get you. So booster still at zero. And yes, I did check it this time. Hooray! Ah, shit. I can't get a. Oh, yes, I can. That's not bad. I got you. Evasion's not the best, but we'll take this shot. I want that blackjack gone. It's scary. It's scary. Uh, how's your back? Let's drop one qua- Um. Now let's just go with the tandems. Engage target. There goes one side. Critical hit. Yes. Save one of the ultras. Beautiful. Yep. All right, uh, MRM, Inferno, Bomb Racks. You're looking the wrong way, dummy. You're looking the wrong way, dummy. That's gonna be painful. That's gonna be really painful. Take this, dirtbag. Yep, that was really painful. Didn't get the knockdown though. It's alright. That's alright. Hopefully that griffin can finish him off. Wish they were shooting at me more. Ready for orders. I get why they're not, but I wish they were. Uh, let's not do that. That's the, uh... Yeah, we'll take that shot. Heading out. We'll take that shot. No, you don't have a booster, right? Oh, you do, and we're at five. Okay, we'll turn... Try and turn that off next turn. If I remember. Um... 
Do I need these for anybody else? I don't think so. We'll drop a couple on them. That should do it, I think. Well, good thing we did because the, uh, plasma, the, uh, PPC missed. Reporting. Critical hit. He's not Our having a good time. So that's the other panther there. Yeah, you run. You run. What can I do for you? I don't know. Can you get a plasma round off and not hit one of us? That's the question. That's the big question. Maybe I should have put a better somebody in here with a better uh, ability to target, but whatever. Uh, let's just try and knock this panther down. Ooh, brutal. This could do it, though. Yep, there we go. There we go. Well, this was quick. I wasn't sure at three and a half skulls if, like, it's hard to tell, right? The first time you, you put a lance into service, it's hard to tell where your sweet spot is. This may have been the wrong mission to test it out. I think, I think these guys could probably do a four, four and a half, maybe? Depending on who we're fighting? Um, who do we want to target? Get over here. Let's get over here. Hmm. Let's go this route. See if we can get the kill on this guy. Here we go. No, but we'll sure as hell shred everything off him before he dies. Well, never mind. He ejected. What do you need? All right, Junker. Um, you don't have a booster. But let's go after this other guy here. Got it. No shooting, just running. So the gutter Damarung, we should be able to hopefully melt him down. Maybe he'll bail out. Yeah. Confirmed. Okay, the AC hit. It's quick sell, so it's not going to be an easy kill. Ready for orders. Right? That's the thing we got to remember. If it wasn't quick sell, if it was a regular panther, no problem, but it's quick sell, so we got to go all in on him. Roger. You do well to respect the quick sell. All right, let's hit this guy. Uh, let's see if the quad missile can hit. What else do we got? We got two quad missiles. Let's go all in for the kill on this guy. Actually, let's go with the high explosive bomb racks instead. Sure. Affirmative. Target's taken a critical hit. You Notice know, so how the pilot doesn't bail out? You know why he doesn't bail out? You know why. It's a quick sell mech. You just don't feel like there's any need that you need to... Like, why would you want to bail out? Offer. Why? There's no need. Everything's good. Oh, crap. Except oh. for when you fucking do that because you're that an idiot. Me. Did I not just say... Whatever. I gotta just... There's just too much shit. When you're ADHD, this is just too much stuff. Target locked. Enemy six. All right, let's warm this guy up. Empty. 102 heat. Receiving you. Uh, do I want to daisy cutter this guy? Fuck it. We got daisy cutter. Let's daisy cutter this guy. We can't take that much back with us anyway, and we'll probably- I might grab the vault. I don't know. I'll probably grab components rather than the mech parts, but we'll see. Let's just daisy cutter them. 125 damage each, a couple tandem missiles for good luck. Roger. Take that! I've got multiple weapons with no ammo. That's alright. This guy's not feeling good. We didn't do a lot of damage. 
it hit everywhere though. Like fuck, look at that. It like strict armor from everywhere. Yeah, he's still fighting. It's quick sell, right? Like why would you not fight? Good to go. There'd be no reason to that you'd think that the battle would be over. We're getting a little close, but I'm okay with that. Let's shut this Got griffin it. up if we can. I mean, he's pretty good for heat, I think, but we can probably do, do this to help out. To help out with a little bit of extra heat for Got him. It. There you go. I've got multiple weapons with no ammo. Just like being at the beach, right? Nice and warm. Well, sucks to be you. Yep. Alright, Nasty. Um. Oh. Let's do that first. And then wait for it to recalculate everything. Do, do, do. Calculating. There we go. You all done? Mm, let's go this route. I got you. And then let's see if we can remove you. Uh Let's just remove him if we can. Let's go for a CT hit, because why not? Firing. Yeah. That's plenty. How's your day going? Apparently not so good. Enemy eliminated. Take a couple Tylenol, you'll breath. be fine. Oof, nice shots. Well, we only have four evasion, too, so that's why. But he's baking. Waiting for orders. He's baking in the sun. What do you say you uh, bake him a little more? Back it up. Hopefully that panther won't come around, but I think we'll be fine. Land the shot, please. Firing on target. Yep. Minimal Beautiful. Yeah, we took a bit of splash. It's alright, though. Confirm. That's all right. I'd uh, turn your uh, jet booster off, but you don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, God, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Let's just go for the kill. Nah, we want salvage. Let's, let's see if we can keep his head salvage. A lot of people are bailing out. So we're going to come around here. Double time. Let's go. Going to come around here. I'm going to try and target his leg. Because why not? Uh, no, you've got stealth, so you don't have that ability. We'll do OP on his leg, though. See if we can get that. Firing. Hopefully we got a knockdown. Critical hit. That'll help. Yep, there we go. Panic level critical. Take a rest. Take a rest, buddy. Yeah. Alright, now I gotta check. Oh, you don't have a jet booster. You're good? Okay. You're the overheater. So let's go visit this guy. Let's go visit this guy. Bombay doors open. Bombay doors open. Let's incendiarize this guy. Attacking from position. That hit. That was all hit. How's that? How's that for heat? Uh, orders? How's that for heat? Oh yeah, you gotta kill this guy this guy. We gotta send our unit with the maximum amount of firepower to kill the uh, the quick cell mech. 
Fire everything! Shoot him in the back because you can't kill him from the front. You know you can't. Quad missile, AA rockets, everything. Use it all! Roger that. See how evasive he is? Quick sell. Gotta get him with everything. One less target. Yeah, if that ammo didn't go off, we wouldn't have killed him. Just saying. Alright, snub and let's get you. Wait. 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 Aha! See? Dumbasses can learn a little bit. Just we don't remember it every single time. That's the only problem. Come on! Calculate, please. There you are. There you are. That's not bad. Take that shot. We should be okay. These guys should be quiet even when they get up because this guy's burning up. So is the other guy. Let's go for the leg. Confirmed. Excellent. What the hell is that from? Oh, that's from inside the stealth bubble. Ah, I was wondering why that looks so weird. What's up, boss? All right, well, um, you don't have much to... Oh, yeah, you do. I was going to say, you don't have much to do, but we can go... You got a warfare suite, so let's get you in amongst our other guys. But let's get right over here, Ooh, even closer if we can. It's a little better. Understood. Moving fast. See if we can pull this guy's other leg off. I think if they were all on the same team shooting at me, it would have been a bit more of a challenge. It just would have taken a little longer, I think. Yeah. I'd have to do more flybys. Whoops. Well, we got the legs and the torsos and everywhere else. We're not going anywhere. What do you mean, go, go someplace? Orders? Now, kind of. I better check for booster. Yep. Now we gotta wait for the math to catch up. Not going anywhere. Got one guy left. Yeah, I guess they had two half, half rank support lances, which is kind of sucky. Would I think a battle would have been better if the Koreans came and these guys had two full lances? You know. Just thinking about coming in as a uh, a mech lance. Although Infernal's hit. All right. If you come in as a mech lance, then they'd have nine guys that you have to face, and then the Credians would kind of balance it out. They're kind of like your local reinforcements, but you still kind of have to shoot them too. So, yeah, it would kind of be kind of balance itself out. Let's see if we can get this guy to bail out. Engaging target. He's got good electronics, and I want them. So, another seventy. My flamer's empty. I'm here. Uh, you don't have anything now that I want to use against that guy. Uh, let's hit him with a couple mag shots, I guess, then. Actually, let's not say we did. I don't want to get any through armor criticals that we lose stuff. Confirm. Five activations. Yeah, that was my bad, dude. Like, honestly. Pull back to here. Got it. We got time, so. Good to go. But you, as far up as you can. If we land this plasma shot. It's over for this guy. I mean, it's kind of already over, but this will solidify. Actually, let's just do. Twenty-five is not enough for me to take a shot at it. Let's put one at his feet, though. Affirmative. There we go. What do you need? Um. Okay. Come around this Move way. Got to split where I'm hitting this guy, so I'm not always uh. Let's just plink him with these. He's got more in the CT back, so we'll hit him with these. Come on, bail out. Nope. 
Internal mech power up detected. Yeah, it's fine. I got more to shut him yeah. down with. I'm not that worried about it. Um. Ten four. I'm wondering how tough this pilot's going to be. How long he's going to want to hold on for. I've only got tandem, right? Yeah, I do. That's fine. He's fire one. Keep the pressure on him. There you go. Good night. Mission successful. Well, I gotta say that cinematic of that guy bailing out that very last little bit, that was like the best cinematic I've had for the entire season. There's been pretty some pretty good ones with stuff blowing up at close with close camera angles, but uh, that was great. Uh, what do we got here? A few kills. Wow, the black the black uh, black jacket got a kill, and mostly the laser blast. Yeah, and the S and the M oh the MRM version got the kills. Two bailouts. It's, I mean, honestly, it's really the Infernos that really kill this, like, kill the most here. Yeah, and the hotter the enemy are, the, you know, the better this guy's going to see them. Yeah, that was a pretty good, that was a pretty good match. All right, let's see what we get here. Uh, the blackjack parts I don't really care about. I thought we had, oh, there's a full vulture. It's 70 tons, though. Is it the pirate version? I mean, we could assemble it and sell it. That's fully Omni. Well, is there anything down here that we absolutely need? Like, we're never going to get a chance to assemble it. The Ultra 10, we've got one, so we're okay there. Clan Endo is a nice selection. Do we have Clan Endo, though? I don't think we do anymore. No, we used it all up. This exchanger is nice, but we've got one. Fire control system energy. Energy range. It's not bad. Critical. Two and a half times crit. Prototype double heat sink kit. I think we still have one. Yeah. One prototype double heat sink. Radical prototype double heat sink kit. I mean, I guess I could take those for money. Torso mount of cockpit. Turret mount. That's uh, interesting. This is increased armor and structure to the location. Which is for the arm. 10% more. I mean, I guess that's okay. Uh, the turret mounts on the vulture. Let's take, the, I think we'll probably get more stuff from the Vulture. If we, because it's three full parts. We'll assemble it and see what we can get out of it. And as much as I hate to say it, I'll probably trash it. Because I just can't assemble it at this point. So we got the Quick Cell Panther part. Now regular Panther part. Streak 4 Quick Cell. I'll hold on to it. I doubt we'll use it, but we'll hold on to it. The 180 core can just go. Quick sell case, we've got two, but we'll hold on to it. XL gyro, hang on to. Jump jets can just go. Peel and stick armor, we got ripped off, man. Missile range. This is great if you have an SRM boat. I mean, I guess you could, I mean, if you have a big LRM boat, it would be okay too, but the 20% increased missile range for an SRM uh, boat is great. Getting up over 400 meters. All right, well... Yeah, just like <laughs> I was expecting the the, uh, the cost, but that's actually, I mean, if you can, if you can get all vehicles and they're good, you can make some good sea bills because this doesn't cost you anything to fix the armor, right? Although we got whiplash down for eight days now, but that's fine. Two days before all our guys are back, I'll probably wait the two days anyway because we're gonna need them for the next uh, uh, next missions. But let's see if we can go ahead. And assemble that vulture. I'm interested to see. I, th I think I'm just going to get rid of this guy. It's nice, but at this point in, in the series, we're not going to get a chance to assemble it, I don't think. 
as nice as it looks. Hopefully it comes up in the Lamb series. I would love to have this thing in, the, in that series, but um, at 95 tons and for what it can carry, it's just not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be viable, so especially how much it's going to cost to repair it all the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that guy for a million. We'll scrap that. Uh, and then let's go ahead and bring that vulture forward. I want to see what we can get off that too. we got a full longbow. I want a full battlemaster. Man, I should bring that battlemaster forward too. we got so much crap. Like, ah, uh, where's the vulture? Where are you? Here you are. It's ready you. See if we can get off it. Yep, ready. That mech you wanted is back online. Yeah, you know what would be cool though? Because we have all these mechs. And I, I know I've mentioned this before. What would be cool is if you had... If you were able to have like designate a home planet as your home base. And your home base could just store all your gear, right? And then you could, like, rather than just having one junk leopard, you could have, like, like maybe multiple leopards where you could actually, like, you would only take one out at a time, but you could fly, like, multiple lances out from your home base and do different missions from there. So you could only have one of those lances available at one time for your playthrough but anytime you go back to your home base you can then change so your home base would always stay the same and maybe the cost for that i don't know would be whatever percentage of whatever you're making but you could fly in and out of your home base and only take a certain amount with you every time you go i, I don't know I, I, yeah anyway uh it would feel more like that you're like rather than just having a company that you could be part of a regiment or something bigger. But, uh, all right. And then, that way, you know, when you go, uh, what I mean by, like, when you go back and then you go out and fly out again with a different group is that it's like a different career. So the leader would be a different leader, right? So you start off with your whatever. Then at some point you build your home base and then you can hire new leaders so that they start their own careers from your base. So each one would have its own you know, um, each one would have its own storyline, I guess. But then you could have a pool of shared resources that, so let, let's say one, your your primary playthrough, like let's say we picked up this vulture, right? We could come back, drop the three parts off, and then somebody in, in another career, you know, um, who's flying out of the same base, could then see those parts and then purchase the parts out of storage to be able to assemble for their playthrough. You know what I mean? So then, like, all the cool stuff that you get could be shared and then you could really, like, um, what do you want to call it, specialize each of your playthroughs so that you could, in one game, technically, have, like, you know, you have your lamb group and you've got your, your heavy assault group and then you've got your light mechs and, like, you could have a bunch of different playthroughs and not have to worry about the massive overhead of trying to have a light lance, a medium lance, a heavy lance, and an assault lance, and then all the vehicles, and then trying to get everything going all in one playthrough. You could have those separate ones. Anyway, that would be kind of cool, I think. But let's see what we get off this guy. Looks like he's got gunnery support that survived. Which is weird, because his whole cockpit went. Um, wow. Wow. Seriously, we got like nothing out of that. A small cockpit, gunnery support B, and a... Oh my god, how much would it be to repair this thing anyway? It's Omni, right? So it should be relatively cheap. 700,000? It's a 70 tonner. How much weight do we have to work with? A lot. Oh, that's tempting. So you had a pair of HVAC 2s, Radical Prototype, NSS, ATM-9 with tandem Hydra ammo, two ATM-9s, and two, oh, and two light PPC with plus capacitor pirate. That's not a very good loadout. I mean, technically you would be an SRM-18 at close range. 
or an MRM 18. But for the weight of the ATMs, like these things are heavy, right? They're five tons. So 10 tons, you could have an MRM 30 or an MRM 18. But then SRMs do more damage at close range, so I get I get that. And then you've got the Hydra ammo. Okay, so it's a bit of a trade-off. I get it. HVAC 2 though. Why would you... There's six tons. Through armor critic chance. What's the damage? 25? Oh, the range is really nice, though. Yeah, if you're stealth and you're sniping with this thing, holy crap, could you imagine? That would be brutal. Just sit yourself up on a hill somewhere and just slowly walk and move around and then just snipe with this thing. You could shred lighter mechs at a distance for sure. As long as you have enough ammo. I don't know how much ammo this thing carried though. 24 shots. Probably 2 tons of ammo. AMS. No, one ton of ammo, so not enough, really. Yeah, I'm only seeing one ton. Yeah, so this isn't bad. I mean, it's got the uh, radical built right into it. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. I think, honestly, I think I'm going to swap this out for the Savage Wolf. I mean, the Savage Wolf is okay. Don't get me wrong. But I just think... Like, that's cheap enough. 700,000? Are you kidding me? 15 days? Logged and noted. Like, the Savage Wolf isn't bad, but, like, the amount of weight... Like, I mean, it looks kind of cool, too. But the amount of weight... Like, we don't have a lot, right? Because it's got... I mean, it's got the double XL engine, but it's the 375 core that makes this thing... Like, we got four ER lasers and, and two LBX-10s. It's not a lot of damage for a 75-ton mech. It's like, what, 100 and... 220 if you hit with everything if you're using slug ammo right these are 25 right or 20 yeah 25 so it's 100 and yeah 220 plus the barrage so 220 is not that bad but then if you look at and the speed okay the speed is good for sure but then if you look at it you know <laughs> even just go to the bandersnatch right it's a 75 tonner as well and yeah, the movement's a lot slower, I get it. The mobility's good for the other one, but, you know, two light AC-20s, pair of ER, ER medium lasers, three of them. So it's 275. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Oh, an SRM-4, so over 300. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, I, it's, it's like anything in Battletech. It's all situational. You gotta build the mech for what you're planning on using it for, right? This guy has got the speed so we can close and use those um, LBXs. Like, and then you take a look at a guy like this, right? Where it's like 300. If you hit with all of the MRMs, it's 300 damage. Then the light PPC, which is like another, what, 30? 330 and a pair of, like, lasers, 380 for 70 tons. So when I say 220, it just seems low for a 75 ton mech. But hopefully the speed will be enough. I don't know. I still think loadouts like this for heavy mechs are far better than the faster heavy mech. I would take it, if I was going to make a fast heavy mech, put it in around the 60 ton category because then it's kind of like the same as a medium mech almost, but with more armor, right? So you could definitely use it to, to punish medium mechs that, that try and push you, right? Whereas a 75 tonner almost seems like a waste to try and do that job because it's the the amount of engine that you've got to put in it and the weight really limits your amount of weaponry. So all you're really doing is moving about the same speed as a medium mech, having roughly the same firepower, maybe a little bit more firepower than a medium mech, and just more armor, and that's all it is. But then, I, I mean, even at a 60 ton, it would be the same. Although it's not so, I mean... Well, the 60 ton is not so bad because the weight really gets up there once you start passing 300 cores. So, anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and check out that Quick Sell site. Until next time, we'll see you later.